Well, hey there, East Texas. Happy Friday, and thanks so much for joining us for CBS 19 News at 5. I'm Channing Curtis. Well, despite the gradual reopening of businesses here in Texas, there are still so many people without a job. And in 10 days, the statewide order halting eviction proceedings will end. Now, before that happens, CBS 19's Peyton Whiteman is looking into renters' rights. Obviously, for a lot of tenants, uh, income has been affected pretty badly during this pandemic. More than 1.5 million Texans have filed for unemployment since March because of the coronavirus outbreak. And for a lot of people, unemployment checks have been delayed. As the Texas economy starts reopening, it doesn't look like a statewide eviction moratorium set to end May 18th will be extended again. It's our hope during this period that landlords will work with tenants going through these circumstances and make arrangements to take partial payments or otherwise help the tenant get their rent back on track. While evictions can still be filed during this time, the process won't begin until after the 18th. The landlords need to go through the formal eviction process. They shouldn't just be trying to force them out. Alex Cassetter, managing attorney of Lone Star Legal Aid in Tyler, says most of the calls he's receiving during this time aren't about eviction notices, but the fear of one. So let's go through that process. The tenant has to be served with notice of the hearing, so it usually takes a couple weeks from filing before you get to a hearing. And uh, from that time, it's five more days before a landlord can get a writ of possession. And during that period of time, the tenant is able to file an appeal to county court if they choose to do so. If a landlord locks someone out of their home or shuts off utilities like water or electricity, which is illegal, renters can contact the Justice of Peace for their area to handle the situation. People do get evicted for bad reasons and proper procedures aren't filed, and so it's very possible for a tenant to win on appeal. Cassetter says talk to your landlord if you're scared of being evicted to let them know about your situation and work out a payment plan. And that is likely to be more productive than going through the time and expense of legal proceedings and releasing the premises. We've got you covered, East Texas. Peyton Weidman, CBS 19. Now, if you or someone you know is in need of rental assistance, the organization PATH, or People Attempting to Help, can assist you. For more, you can head over to our website at cbs19.tv later this evening.